What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you on how to move the camera into another position. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so in this example, what I would do is when I basically cross a specific trigger, I would just move the camera to another location, uh, just looking over the level, okay? This is just an example, you could turn this system into whatever thing that you like, right? Uh, like for example, when a jump scare happens to put it in another place, or like on your AI's head or whatever. There's a lot of options, but the first thing that I'm going to do is add that trigger so I can go through, okay? In this case, I'm gonna go up into quickly add to the project, go down into all classes and just search for trigger box. Can I just add it over here? Let me just make this bigger, okay? So it will be easier to come in. And then let me just go ahead and get this uh, wall. And you just kind of make make this shape of a gate so i know exactly where i want to go through because of course this will be invisible okay so now let me just go ahead and open the level blueprint and select the trigger box so now what i can do with this selected is right click go and add an event for this on begin overlap so when my actor will go well, in this case, any actor will go through this trigger. It will go and um, just put it out there. So let's check that this actor is the player, just in case. So in my case, I'm just gonna cast to my third person character or whatever character we have. And then I am going to just go ahead and print hello, okay? In that case, I know that I have gone through that point. So just take a look at the top left corner, okay? So you can see when I pass, it says hello indeed. It's very small, but there we go. So that's working. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is in the third person character blueprint, so let's enter into the blueprint, we are going to go ahead and create a new custom event that will move the camera into a certain position. So let's go down, let's right click, create a custom event, and this will be just move camera. In this case, what I am going to do is basically use a very handy node, which is just gonna go ahead and just drag our camera. So don't worry about the camera boom, just forget it for now, okay? We will not need it, we'll just directly move the camera. And what I will do is just go ahead and attach this component into another component. As you can see, this is a very useful node. So it will be this target, which is the camera, into what we want to set as the parent. In this case, that is where the location that we want to go. Okay, which will be in the form of another uh, actor. Now, there's we could basically transform the lo the relative location to the world location and just change the world camera. But this is a very easy and quick way to do so. Okay, if you want to move it just with a simple actor. So now I can just go and create another blueprint class. In this case, an actor because it would just be in the scene without any code. And I call this BP underscore cam pos for example. Right, this is an example. So now, very important, first of all, I am going to go ahead and, uh, you know, disable the tick, that should be enough. Uh, the, so the event tick will not, you know, be working every second. And then it's just as simple as compiling, closing this, and dragging it into the level. In this case, I don't know, right around, I guess, kinda here, we'll do the job, okay, overlooking. Uh, and to make it easier, what I'm gonna do is open this again with Ctrl E and just add an arrow which will resemble our camera, okay? Where it is looking. So now, as you can see, I can go here and see the arrow and I can see where my camera will be pointing at, which is a bit easier to, you know, position in this case. So now I can just go into the uh, third person character and then here I can just go ahead and pass that parent. So because we only have one actor of those in the level, I can simply use get actor of class in singular. And now just go ahead and pick the cam pass blueprint and pass that as the parent. Now we cannot pass that because we need a scene component. So I just need in this case to get one of its components, which will be the arrow. Okay. And you see that we have a little thing there. I don't know. It's just because it's editor only. Okay. Um, because you know, as you may know, this doesn't show up in gameplay, that's why. Uh, but don't worry about that, you just plug it in, and now, as you can see, there we go. We're gonna leave everything by default, and you see what will happen. We now press play. Uh, of course, we need to go to third-person uh, map to just go and say that when we go to the trigger, we'll, you know, execute this. So, because we have already cast it, we can just go ahead and say the move camera, I think, uh, yeah, called it. And that will move the camera. So, now I can just press play, and can go. 
as you can see that will move the camera into this new location now it is slightly tilted yeah because i rotated it and moved it around a lot but you get it yeah it is working indeed as you can see so that's really cool um another thing that you can do is change the rotation right we could put it to keep world um but that will slowly break things right so you can see now we are pointing in another way so it has to be relative and you have to play is with the rotation here okay, itself okay as you can see i have some rotation in y that is uh sorry in x i believe this yeah in x okay uh so now that should be aligned i guess yeah so now as you can see it is aligned you just have some rotation in x which i don't need uh, okay so that goes ahead and works as you can see let me point a bit downwards and we can just go through this trigger and we'll change the camera and you can see we can still play the game nothing it is very very cool all right so that's it for this tutorial if you found it helpful or will really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel remember that the product files will be available in my patreon youtube members so link in the description join my discord server follow me on my socials and now yes we'll all said bye bye